Welcome to John Gillespie's Waters and Woods. We're up north with our buddy Jeff Winters going on a fishing adventure. Fleet Farm presents John Gillespie's Waters and Woods. Fleet Farm, the ultimate fishing headquarters. And I'll tell you what, I had trouble getting to sleep last night. I was so excited to come to the Willow Foage today with Jeff Winters. And Jeff, this is a 5,500 acre jewel of the Northwoods. And I mean, you are in wilderness. Yeah, there's nothing out here. You got one little corner in the, in the southeast where there's a couple of houses. And other than that, it's all wildlife and wilderness. And what I love about fishing here, you know, we got walleyes, smallmouth, uh, a lot of pike. Uh, all kinds of panfish, but you, you're basically fishing shallow shorelines, which is neat. Most of the time until fall, we're fishing in under five feet of water all the time. Warming up, the weighted swim bait hook is perfect for any of your plastic lures you would like to use. Eagle Claw, the only hook made right here in the USA. Hey, nice hook set there, <laughs> Jeff. What do we got? We I got don't know. He hit hard and started running. All right, let's Frank, see what we, we need got here. Frank. A nice pike. Okay. Well, that's what I love about you know all the years that you and I have fished together, Jeff. I love the fact that we're kind of multi, you're multi-species, aren't you? Yeah, I believe in just keeping the rod bending. Yeah, right. You and I have talked about this over the years, how good those northern pike are to eat. Oh, this would be a meal right here. Yay! <laughs> I hope it is not another small northern, Blake. It is. It is. It is. Oh. oh. Well, he, what did he hit there? Uh, the tickle tail. Well, that's all right. Actually, is that an eater there, Jeff? That one could be fillet. He's got a body to him. You can kind of flip him in, Blake. Those are easy he... filleters that take some tasty food. Yeah, actually, that is a good eater right there. So just steady retrieve on that, huh? Yep, right in the weeds. And man, he smacked yep, that. that. He was hungry. That's now, a real good eater. Now, that's an eater. And now, most of the time, when you take clients out, they leave with a fish fry. Oh, that's the number one rule. Yeah. And then that right there, you'll get five nice fillets off of. I'll get as much meat off of this as you will off a 15 inch walleye. Isn't that amazing? Wow. Now, Jeff, when you're fishing a flowage like this, everything looks so fishy. Every spot, every edge of the shoreline looks wonderful. How do you choose a spot? Generally wind. Yeah. But like, now if you notice today, there's no wind, so we're just working shores everywhere. Mm -hmm. um, but when you get wind, you pick your wind, wind blown shorelines and that's where you start. Okay, and is it mostly weeds on the willow? Mostly weeds, you'll look for bass on the rocks. Um, you know, in the wood later, you know, some wood, there is some shallow wood. What do you got there? I don't know. All right, Blake's here with the net. Looks like a bass. Smally or largey? Small. Wow, that's cool. Got him, Blake? Hey. Yeah, finally. And, and Jeff, a lot of guys come to the Willow for the smallmouth, don't they? Oh yeah, she's just a really top notch and they're, they're big. But you know, the amazing part is they never used to be here. Really? And then they started showing up, and you get some real dandies in here. I'll tell you what, Jeff caught that smallmouth bass, so I put a wacko worm on, and I've been casting the shoreline there. And Jeff is right, man. I'll tell you what, they do fight good. 
There we go. There we go. That's actually a pretty nice smallmouth there. You catch these all day, you'd be happy. You'd and get there's tired so, and hurry. <laughs> yeah, but there's so many beautiful shorelines to work here. And uh, I've actually got a Kalen's weedless jig on there and just a wacko and casting that up towards uh, shore. I think I got myself another smallmouth bass. Oh, a nice Ooh, one. It's a big one here, too, Blake. I'll need the net here. Whoa, this is a big Getting fish. Get some sky time on This him. is a big fish, folks. Folks, ooh, on the wacko worm. Okay, be ready, Blake. Be ready. Oh my! Whoa! One more, I think. Here, one more. This is a really giant fish. Whoa! There we go. Whoa! Look at the size of this smallmouth bass, oh, Jeff. Holy. This this is over five pounds, oh folks. Oh my gosh! And, and this is a really big, big fish. Well, look at that, folks. Ooh, there's another big one right there. Look at there. the size of that bass, Jeff. I'll tell you what. What is? What do you think? That's a big fish, man. That's a jumbo. That's well over five pounds. That's a good it, one. That is something else. Right up next to the shoreline, That's too. That's awesome. That's it, a trophy fish yeah, right there, That Dad. really is. I'll bet you... I'll bet you five and a half, actually. Ooh, another one on that wacky worm, folks. Blake, I'll need that net again. All right, I'm coming. Okay. Looks like a good one. Yeah, well, you told me that the average really pretty good size here. Oh, yeah, that's oh, another, another, nice another beautiful bass right wow. there. That is awesome. That right there is another, another one that's pushing three and a half, four pounds. Wow, you got the lucky stick today. Well, I think it's using that wacko worm, folks. And again, I'll, I, once I show you this fish and, and release them, I'll show you how to rig these. And... Uh, they're deadly effective, and on a calm day like today, when the walleyes are tough to come by, that is the beauty of these flowages. And as Jeff pointed out when we left this morning, if the walleyes aren't biting, and they aren't today, there's a lot of other stuff to go for, isn't there? We're really having a hard day with walleyes, but we would have had a meal of Northerns if we were looking for a fish fry, and we're having fun with these big bass. Well, a fun day on the willow foliage today. Uh, unfortunately, the walleyes weren't biting, but the bass gave us a lot of fun. Now, explain to the folks at home, you can actually come out here by boat and there are campsites, Jeff? Yeah, we have like a campsite right behind us, another one over there. There's about a couple dozen of them out here, and they're on a first come, first serve basis. And then just basically your state campground rules. You can stay, I think, up to two weeks or something like that. Oh, really? Do you pay? No, it's all free camping. You know, a lot of people ask me what happens if you don't catch enough fish for a whole show. Well, we go fishing for another day. Yep. And we had fun with Jeff Winters, but we had to leave without a whole show. Yep, so now we're fishing again today. They're in Lake Country in Waukesha County, and uh, it's June the 27th, a chilly day. We're going to get yes. some rain today, but Waukesha County Lakes is always good for bass. Yep, they're really fun, and there's a bunch of different lakes you can choose from, too. And guess who? what? We got our Cubs fan with us today. Yeah. Henry Abbott is buddy. with us today because <laughs> we needed an extra expert rod in the boat, yes, right? Yes, it's so much fun fishing with him. Yay, there we go, John. Henry Abbott. Those Cubs guys can fish, I'll tell you. Let's hope <laughs> it's a bass. They got bass and pike are prevalent in here. Feel pretty decent, Henry? Yeah, not too bad. A little there bass. There you go. Nice job there, buddy. And, uh, you can tell the folks what we did here. We just kind of positioned the boat where? We're right on the edge of the weeds. Yeah. You know, casting. We're sitting in 15, casting into 10. There's another now, one, John. That's your next cast, right? Yeah, that was pretty quick. All right, let's see what we got here. I'll tell you, we had oh. a... Uh, oh, there that. we go. Another bass. Hey, we had a heck of a cold front move through last night for June the 27th. Yeah. It was 85 yesterday. It's 62 today. We got our bibs on today. But the first day of the cold front, you can usually do okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, for sure. Again, that was steady retrieve, huh, buddy? Steady retrieve, yep. Hey, Henry, I did exactly what you told me, buddy, and it works. Uh, yeah, they aren't huge, folks, but I'll tell you what, they are fun to catch, and uh, I can show you in a second here what we're using. And this is the time of year when these fish start using the weed edges. They're done spawning now in late June and uh, just following schools of little bluegills and whatnot on these weed edges and gorging on them. This one's staying down. Oh, well, you know, there's there's some decent bass in all of these lakes out here. Yep. You know, to get you in the weeds? Yeah, I think so. All right, well, you just got to pull. All right. 
Oh, you got a little salad there with your meat. There's a bass in there somewhere, though. Yeah. <laughs> Let's just say there's, they're in the weeds. <laughs> it's kind of neat, though, because we're actually seeing some surface activity, right, Blake? Yep, and we think those are crappies, right? Or uh, but I think both, yeah. yeah. But, yeah, he hit right on the drop. This is really such an easy way to fish, folks. I'm using, what is this, Blake, called? The Tickle Tail. The Tickle Tail by Kalins, and it's got a paddle tail on it, and we are not steady retrieving. Henry, maybe you can show the folks how you're doing that. Well, it's pretty simple, John. You just throw it out there, let it hit, let it go down for a couple seconds, two or three cranks, let it fall. Two or three cranks, let it fall, and they seem to be hitting it as it's falling. I thought that was weed, and then my line started. Oh, oh there we go, Blake. Net. Well, let's see. Yeah, that's a, that's probably a 16-inch fish right there. I actually there. put on the bigger tickle tail, the 3.8. Oh, okay. Yeah. Way to go. Boy, Henry, you're spry, I'll tell you, with that old clam net there, buddy. Nice oh, bass. Thank you, there Henry. you go. Oh, that was fun. Yeah, I thought I was reeling in a big bag of weed. But no, it's a nice, nice so, fish. So you put on the the four incher the 3.8 3.8 inch yep. tickle tail and i uh, put on the same color henry has been using and because he's <laughs> clearly been beating all of us today but that's a beautiful fish isn't that and you know as, as we talked about at the top lake country out here in waukesha there's about nine ten different lakes and they all hold bass yep. everybody practices catch and release so you got a chance at a big one absolutely and wow this fish is warm the water is really warm today well it's a cold day Breaking news from Fleet Farm, check out this event. It's the Fleet Farm Kids Fishing Day from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. on July 8th at your local Fleet Farm store. Learn all about fishing, play some games, and more. It's so interesting. Every time you see a minnow jump out there, you cast right at it. And this is not as big as Blake's, but you want to see how hungry these fish are, folks, feeding underneath those, those minnows. They just completely annihilate that Kalen's uh, tickle tail. And it's a fun way to fish, too. But yeah, you see the minnows jump, cast right out to them. Way to go, Henry. Here we go, John. And oh, yeah, there you go. That's a little better. You can flip him in there, ends. Oh, yeah. Come there on. you go. Well, can you? Yeah, there's a good bass. Aren't you amazed at how they're eating this thing, though? They are smoking it. And you know, to explain to the folks, and this works on any of the lakes in southern Wisconsin that I'm aware of, is you it's real easy. Go out in the boat, drive around for a little bit, and find the weed edge. Yeah, you just got to be on the wedge. You don't want to be out too far. You can't be in too far. Just right on the edge there. No, I mean, the front of the boat right now is in three feet of water. And what's the back of the boat in? Eleven. Eleven. Yeah. So we're right on it. And spot lock, what, a, uh, what would you do without spot lock today? We wouldn't be out here without it today. No. No, that's a good one, Henry. We were fishing the lakes of Waukesha County, a one-hour drive from Milwaukee, two hours from Chicago, and four and a half hours from Minneapolis. New Mega Live Imaging shows you what's below in real time with edge-to-edge -edge clarity and no gaps in coverage. All so you can turn must-watch detail into non-stop action. Only from Humminbird. You know, folks, with my buddies using leeches and crawlers all day, I'm glad I've got the Johnson Pump washdown kit. All I can do then is spray down the boat and get all that stuff out of there. But the Johnson Pump washdown kit has another use. It's 92 degrees and humid today. Now watch. I'll take care of my buddy Tom in the back. What do you think of that, buddy? I love it! I need one! Yeah! Can he put them on pontoon boats? They're great for pontoon boats! There you go, buddy! <laughs> Wait until my wife has sees that one. I'm gonna get her, too. <laughs> there we go. Then now you cast that way out towards the middle of the lake. Because <laughs> we got all this wind behind us here. Yep. Is, and he hit right away? Yeah, it was way out there. Wow. I'm in the weeds now. Got a lot of weed there, Henry? There's a lot of weeds in the middle of the lake. You know, there's nothing wrong with this size bass, you know that? No, it's fun. It'd be great to bring kids out here. Yeah. 
and you know, like I said earlier, you always got a chance for a big one. Yep. But when the rod's bending all the time and we're on a big cold front and we need to get a show done because we got to edit tomorrow, <laughs> I'm really glad that you Cub fans will come through in the clutch. <laughs> we always do, John. Well, not really. The Brewers are ahead of you. Well, for now. <sighs> This one's got a little bit of weight. I'm trying to keep them from going down in the weeds. That's the thing, is you're fishing these thick weeds, folks. No, again, they're not monsters, but you know, hey, on a cold front, any day of the week, and Henry just lost one that was actually uh, significant bigger than this one. And again, folks, this is such an, you don't really have to know a lake. You know, like I say, you just drive around a little bit until you find the edge. That one jumped. That's so fun to watch that jump. You love your bass fishing, don't you? Yes, I would do it every week if I had the choice. I like walleyes. I know you do, and crappie. Uh, I don't know, should I flip this? Yeah, ah, you can flip you can that flip one, Blake. You've got Seagar line on there. Ooh, that's a nice one, that's Blake. That's a nice one. That yeah, was right at the beginning of my cast as well. And that hit right in the beginning? Yep. And oh. what we're doing because of the wind today, folks, is using a quarter ounce jig. But you got to start reeling right away so you don't get in the weeds. Yep, crank, crank, pause, crank, crank, pause. I'm not sure, but man, they stayed out. Oh, there's oh, a that's dandy. A netter, that's a netter. That's a dandy. We got to get that clam net there. That Henry Abbott is spry on his feet, too. <laughs> Oh, that's so much fun. Yeah, that's a good fish right there. Are you using that bigger tickle tail? Yep, the 3.8. The 3.8 take tickle tail. There you go. Yeah. Uh, come on, guys. There. Oh, yeah. there we go. There is a nice bass -a -roo right there, Blake. Yep. Yeah, I, I could see that it was staying down. Henry, you know, those are nice fish wherever you go, aren't they, buddy? Yeah, that's a good fish. There's look nothing at, wrong with that. Yeah, look you, at that. He oh, yeah. ate that. Okay. Beautiful fish. Isn't it? Now, that's got to be pushing 18, 19 inches right yeah. there. for sure. And that's so neat, folks. And, you know, some of the lakes that we have, Pine, Oconomowoc, Okachi, all have that. these big old bass. And you go south and Delavan and Lake Geneva. You actually fish Delavan and Lake Geneva. They're great bass fishers. Oh, there's some really good bass fish in those. Oh. Nice job, Blake. Thank you. Nicole. That is a beaut. Big fish, Blakey. It's now time to announce this week's winners of the Fleet Farm, John Gillespie's Waters and Woods 2023 Fishing Contest. Todd Henriksen of Menasha caught this 31-inch walleye on Green Bay on a tickle tail. Kathy Bukacek of Waukesha caught this 17-inch perch on the Bay of Green Bay on a leech. Pete Rathbun of Plainfield, Illinois, caught this 11-inch bluegill on Dave Lake on a jig and minnow. Randy Woppert of West Allis boated this 23-inch smallmouth on the Wisconsin River on a jerk minnow. And this week's kids winners are Tristan Wolden of Carlos, Minnesota, caught this 28-inch walleye on Lake Osaskis on a leech. And Jack Vogel of Oregon caught this 31-inch walleye on the Wisconsin River on a crawler. Each week, I shop online at FleetFarm.com to check out the latest deals. 20% off the K&E Whipper Rods on sale starting at $35.59 and 20% off the Lakes and Rivers Spinning Reels on sale starting at $21.59. Well, you know what, Henry? One of our favorite things to do in the summer is to bring a grill out on the boat and have some Johnsonvilles for lunch. Nothing like it. Yep, and I have Johnsonville better with cheddars, but guess what? It's double the cheddar. You can never have too much cheddar. <laughs> right? And they're cooked with premium cuts of pork, smoked, and Wisconsin cheddar cheese. Don't forget, double the cheese. Double the cheese. <laughs> How good are those? Excellent. <laughs> that Wisconsin double cheddar cheese. Even Cubs fans like them. <laughs> Even Cubs fans like Johnsonville. Johnsonville better with cheddar. Double the cheddar. Find them at your favorite retailer today. Meet Chris McGillis of McGillis Weimer, experienced personal injury lawyers. You know, they come in and what we do is, we, we, again, we want to hear their story. We want to make sure they're okay. We want to give them guidance. A lot of times we call it quarterbacking their case, right? Help them put themselves in a position where they can get the best medical treatment they're taken care of. What we want to do is make sure that the only thing they have to worry about, John, is getting better, right? We focus on everything else.
I'll tell you what, folks, I've been a proud user of Amsoil for many years. And us sportsmen, a lot of times, not only have a truck, but a boat, an ATV, a snowmobile. And how do you figure out which Amsoil product to use in each machine? Yeah, that can be a challenge sometimes. And, you know, we make it easy. We've got a lookup guide. You just go to Amsoil.com. You put in your vehicle, whatever it may be, whether it's a boat, a wheeler, a truck, a trailer, whatever. Um, you pick out your product. It tells you how much and which product to put in. Real simple. And one thing I want to mention, too, Amsoil does a ton of research before you even put the product on the market. You make sure that it's the best. That's correct. It's years in the making for a product to launch. There's a ton of research and development to make sure that it's going to protect like it's supposed to. And folks, to find the Amsoil you want, go to Amsoil.com. What's the difference between a good net and a great net? Simple. It's all in the features. Fortis nets by Clam Outdoors are tough. Safe on fish. Easy to use. And a telescoping handle. Learn more about Mortis Nets at clamoutdoors.com. But I'm moving the boat. Were you trolling there? <laughs> yeah, I was telling Ryan a story and I. Oh, it's staying down. Uh, we may need the net. We might need the net here. I'm on it. Ooh. Oh, this has some weight to it, Dad. Yeah? What is it, Henry? What is it, Henry? A big old bass. Oh, nicely done, Blake. Woo! That was funny. I was just like, oh, I don't know. Actually, you know, that's not a bad idea. You know, Classic. Henry, if you wanted to do a little bit of trolling with these, uh, these swim baits, that would really work with the bow mount, you oh, know? Oh, yeah, for sure. Yep. Yeah. Nice That's fish. another beauty, Blake. Yep. That You're was pretty funny. So the, you were just dragging along, huh? Yeah, you were like, all right, we're moving up a little bit. And I was just talking to Ryan, and I forgot my lure was still in the water, and bam. Well, I'll tell you where it's getting, whoa! Oh, that, whoa. that was a jumper. That was kind that of was a nice jumper. jump there, Henry. Another decent bass there. Yeah. You know, over the years, and I know you fish with Rob and and all our buddies, they always say the windy, end, windy side of the lake is where you should be, right? Yeah, where the bait blows into. Yep. And that's another decent bass, buddy. I'll tell you what, we've only been out a couple hours. It ain't a bad fishing day. No, it's, you know, for as junky as it is out here, we're catching fish. Yeah. All right. Uh, man, the bend in that rod never gets old. No, and that's a nice St. Croix 7 foot road. There's a nice bass, Blake. Yeah. I mean, they've all been, you know, solid fish. Oh, you got it? Yeah. Nice flipper in her there. Thank you. I'm getting better. But I want to tell the folks again and repeat, you know, there's so many lakes in southeastern Wisconsin from Madison to Milwaukee and in mm -hmm. between. And all summer long, these deeper weed edges, you know, yep. it's pretty easy to fish too. Absolutely. And no matter the size, they're so much fun to catch. Absolutely. <laughs> what is that, Dad? Look at that beautiful Dad. crappie. And that is on again that tickle tail right there. You gotta get your crappie scrubbed out. Oh, my out. crappie rod is out. But look at that, right on that weed edge too. Look at that, that's a solid, what do you think, 11, 12? That's a 12 incher. Yeah, look at how he ate that too. You're getting in the action here. <laughs> yeah, it was, oh, a little Oh, look pike. at that, a teensy, teensy now pike. there is a Blake-sized pike there, Blake. <laughs> there you go. Now that is a trophy fish. All these game fish using the weeds. <laughs> There's one, John. All right, Henry. You know, we got to tell the folks we're not catching, oh, that's, that's not a bad fish. You need the neck? We're not catching these uh, every cast now, folks. Actually, what you got to do, Henry, is move around, huh? Oh, it, can, can you get him there, buddy? Uh, let's see. Here he is. Now nah, that's a nice bass, Henry. That's I mean, no, nothing gigantic, you know. But what we're having to do, folks, is is move around. And as Blake said earlier, you're actually seeing minnows jump on the surface, and and that's where they are. Yeah, there's a lot of surface activity. I don't know if they're minnows or little bluegills, but I think that's what they're doing. They're chasing that. Oh, I got a pike on. Oh, you got a pike on, little guy? And look at Henry's got one in his hand. I don't know. This is... And Blake's got one coming in. Yours any size there, Blake? Uh, 
Whoa, 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 what are you gonna do there? I don't know, I hate flipping in. Well, there you go, Henry will help you, maybe. Wow. Actually, Blake's is built pretty good, yeah, you know that? Not bad. Isn't actually that? casted right where Henry did before when he caught his pike. That's another thing here, you know, in the southern part of Wisconsin, there's a ton of those, aren't there, Henry? Yeah, there's a lot of in, them. In all the lakes, and, the, and they're fun to catch. And make sure you check uh, uh, the limits and the size deal on the pike, because it varies lake to lake, you know? Absolutely, because pike are good to eat. Oh yeah, but we're throwing everything back. Yes, sir. Well, let's see what we got here, Henry. That might feel a little pikeish. Oh, no, a it's a real nice bass. I might point. need Get the Nauru here, guys. He's Good hooked show. on the top. Well, there we go. Oh. I do the Matty B flip in there. And uh, no, we have caught a lot of fish this size today, folks. And again, so many lakes around Milwaukee. But look at Henry, look at the width of that one, buddy. That is a beautiful that's fish. A, that's a real nice bass there, about 16, yep. Yep. 17 inches. A lot of fun. And thick. Same spot too, huh? Yeah, same spot, John. That is interesting. Oh, another dandy. Nice flip in there, Henry. Are you surprised at the quality today? I am. I mean, we caught a lot of fish that were in that 17, 18 inch range. Nice time. Thanks yeah. for coming, Cubs fan. <laughs> Excellent. Thanks for having me. Jeff Winters guides all of northern Wisconsin on a daily basis. For more information, call Jeff. That phone number is 715-385-9313. If you are a spring walleye fisherman, grab some of these. They're an incredible bait. Kaolins, rattling Google eye, hair jigs. Right there, Ryan. Ooh, that one pounded it. Wow, dude, that is my first cast. Beautiful walleye right there on the hair, man. Perky, lively, smacking hair jigs. Doesn't get much better, does it? Big, fat, chunky spring walleyes. Uh, oh, Pete, I'm getting too old for this. So, John, you haven't heard of Brian's Custom Steps? Oh, Pete, those are awesome. How can I get a set? Yeah, I love these big no-slip platforms, and they're made right here in Wisconsin. For more information on Brian's Custom Steps, call 920-315-0333. Blake, I might need the net on this guy here. Whoa, just took a big jump there. Isn't that it, fun? Yeah, it really is. And here he is. I got the clam. Ooh, it's another dandy, huh? There we go. Ugh. What a fun day. You know, good trip with Jeff Winters, seeing the flowage, and then yep. coming out here in, uh, near Milwaukee to finish this up. Absolutely. And uh, this is something you can experience, you know, the rest of the summer out here. And the, that's another beautiful bass, isn't it? Yep, nicely done. We've caught like close to 30 today. Oh, yeah. And thank you, Henry. And Folks, that is our show for today. Please join us next week. I don't know where we're going to fish yet. But we'll find a place somewhere. Until then, I'm John Gillespie. And I'm Blake Gillespie. Hoping to see you enjoying John Gillespie's Waters and Woods.